Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a PvE tier list video. This is going to be for mostly high-end spots. It's not going to be for low-end spots like polyphores, gahas, nagas, or trees. Like, none of the low-end spots. You know, it's going to be for like probably for Achman, Histria, Starzen, Sakraya, Gatuga, something like that. So let's get straight into it. Before I start, I will leave my Discord in the description. Be sure to join. My Twitch will be in there as well. Uh, be sure to give me a follow, and yes, I do stream, so if you want to watch me go live, uh, you can be sure to check my Twitch in the description. So let's get st straight into it. So, for super do left or right, it doesn't really matter. Let's go do with Tamer. I know a lot of people uh, talk a lot of shit about Tamer. Is Tamer good? What would Tamer be? I'm gonna automatically like, give Tamer a C tier. Tamer is really not that good in low end spots or high end spots. Other classes can do much better. She did get a buff though. I really want to put her a B, but I'm gonna give her a C for right now. So, Tamer, C tier. Ooh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie is uh, very strong in Awakened End Secession. Oh, I forgot to mention that in the video. This is going to be for Awakening and Secession, pretty much a mixture of both. Which one is stronger? So, keep that in mind. So, Valkyrie Secession is very strong in PvE, high-end grind spots, and low-end grind spots. But most likely, people like to play Awaken Valkyrie still. Awaken is still great, but Secession damage is pretty insane. Now, Valkyrie Brother, on the other hand, is above her. Warrior is like... <laughs> Warrior's grot... Nah. God tier is Warriors God tier in PvE. Even after the nerfs, Warriors still God tier. Same thing with w -w 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 Witch. Witch Secession is fucking insane. Witch is just, it's just a, a huge buff in Awaken to Secession. So if you want a PvE, Witch Secession is pretty much the way to go. Same thing with Warrior and Valkyrie. Valkyrie, you can play Awaken or Secession. Tamer. Let's not talk about Tamer. Sork, Sork PvE, Awakener Secession. Pretty sure a lot of Sorks like to play in Secession. So Sork is gonna get an SSS. Sork Secession is pretty damn insane. Up there with Warrior and Witch, if not right behind Wit, Witch, sorry, Warrior. So Sork is up there with SSS. You have Ninja on the other hand. Ninja, you're pretty much breaking your fucking fingers running on this fucking class in secession it's not going to be as strong as these other guys up here i'm going to give warrior an a ninja is strong but it's not up there with these guys it's very strong in pvp but pve kind of lack a little bit these guys will most definitely outgrind ninja mystic i know mystic gets a lot of hate honestly guys mystic is not an sss tier in pve a lot of classes outshine mystic mystic is not even an s tier in pve i want to probably give mystic an a tier really but i want to actually give mystic i'm going to give mystic an a tier right now with ninja mystic is strong she's not a bursty class right her secession is really not that good at all her awakening is better for pve guys until secession gets reworked or a buff so keep that in mind Mystic is going to have an A for at the moment. But her brother, on the other hand, Striker, is going to get an S. Striker's secession is pretty nutty in PvE. The damage is significantly high than Awaken. Very strong. You know, very bursty. Better than Mystic, actually. Striker grinds faster than Mystic in 2020 until uh, either of the class gets buffed. So, let's go with Wizard. I actually forgot about Wizard. Wizard, on the other hand, Witch Brother, is also going to be an SSS right now with Secession. These two casters are very, very strong in grinding right now with Secession. So, very strong. So, let's go with these two brothers and sisters here. Musa. I know Musa's getting a buff. There's really not enough data with the moose above how good they would be in PvE with above. Right now, Moose Secession is a lot stronger than Awaken for PvE. I don't know 
how strong awakening pve is going to be after the buff moose is going to get a b musa low end grind spots is the strongest class in the game and one of the fastest class in the game if you're making a new character if you just want to burn through like make a lot of trash early on musa is probably the class for you to go so musa is uh and mayo's sister i mean musa's sister is uh I, I just want to give Maywa a legacy but this is pretty much uh, I'm going to give them both together at the moment give them these guys both together so these guys are very strong in in-game grind spots by the way just keep that in mind this is like I mentioned before this is going to be Sakraya, Star Zen or History really like the, like the in-game grind spots pretty much I don't want to put in Katug or like Aquan really you pretty much going to skip those area. I'll probably add those in another video. Launch the session. Launch the session for PVE. It's all Maglia and S. It's, it's very strong. Very bursty. Spin, spin, spin. Very strong. Better than Awaken. Mm, debatable. You can play Awaken or Secession Lawn. They're both strong, actually. But like Mystic. Mystic Secession is really not all that. You can't. Archer. Is Archer very strong? Archer doesn't have a secession. Archer is not going to get a secession. Archer stays awakened. Archer is very, very strong all over the place. Anywhere they grind. They're a swishy class, but they're very strong. Very range, and they can still put a hair up your ass. So keep that in mind. Archer, what about Archer sister, Ranger? This class gets a lot of hate. I really want to... This is like kind of hard. I'm going to give Ranger a B. Ranger B. It's a lot of button pressing. It's like... Uh... Ranger Succession is better than Awaken. It's still... Even after the Ranger nerf. It's still good. It's still good. Guys, don't forget I didn't... I didn't forget about Guardian or Shy, I will be doing those last. So Rangers is going to be a B with Mewa and Musa. Zerker on the other hand is going to get an A. It's very, Zerker is a very chill grinding class, it's if you spin all you do is spin, 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 but the damage isn't up there with these guys in grinding, it just isn't. Oh, for the most sexiest class in the game, Dark Knight, oh man. Dark Knight is a very strong session. Um, they're fucking nutty. Their burst is super high. I'm gonna give them an S. They're very strong. I think this looks pretty good so far. Dark Knight. I'm gonna put you right here just because you're a sexy little fucking fuckhead. All right. Dark Knight is up there. So, then Kuno, Ninja Sister. Right there. Kuno, I, I don't. I... Man, this class right here is very strong, but it's not enough Kuno data because everybody re rolled from the class. Like, who's playing Kuno right now? I don't think nobody's playing Kuno in the game, in PvE, really. Kuno's just like Awakening was one of the worst PvE classes in the game. Same thing with Mewa Awakening and Ranger Awakening as well. But since she came out. And for Guardian, since this Guardian's not on here, Guardian's gonna get SSS. Let's not even talk about Guardian. Guardian is. That class is a monster. Guardian is automatically an SSS for PvE. And Shy, I'm gonna give Shy an A tier. So, remember, Shy is gonna, Shy is gonna be an A, Guardian's gonna be an SSS. Anything above SSS, these classes are a monster in pve in-game spots they most likely will make more trash in a b and c tier and um that pretty much sums the video if you like the video uh give it a like join my discord follow me on twitch watch me live if you have any other comments put them in the comment section stuff will change over time I really want to put Archer as an SSS, but I'm really not going to do that. 
Lon, I want to put Lon SSS, but I'm going to give Lon an A S. Sorry. This is pretty much it for the PvE tier list. If you guys have anything else in mind, if you guys don't feel like this is accurate, let me know. I know I'll let me all. Oh, Mystic. Mystic is SSS. All oh, that class is fucking insane. She can summon water dragons. Oh, God. <laughs> No, Mystic is honestly an A tier. It bursts is nowhere near these fucking glasses right here. Anyways, that's pretty much sums the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. Pretty much it. Sums it up. Uh, me as a Zerk main, this is one of the coolest classes in the game. So don't forget to try it out at least. And also guys, this session is on trial classes now. So, on trial characters. So if you want to try this session out, on trial characters feel free to do so i'll see you guys in the next video if you guys have any other video ideas in mind let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy